All right, guys, what I'm gonna do is a little tutorial on, I'm gonna put on the foundation and then I'm gonna do some contouring. Um, I've had some people ask me about contouring and how you do it, it's really not hard and it doesn't take a lot of time. Don't mind me drinking my coffee, I'm so tired. Um, anyway, so I just put my primer on. Okay, let me show you the primer as I throw it around, okay? Um, you've probably seen my post lately about the primer. Primer is really important. A lot of people don't even use it and, oh, you don't need primer. Okay, about, it doesn't matter how nice your makeup is, about noontime, your makeup's gonna be gone, if not before that. Um, it just doesn't stay on your face. It's the same thing with, um, I'm, I sweat a lot, um, and when I put primer on, I notice that my makeup's still on at the end of the day. If I don't put primer on, it doesn't stay on no matter how nice my makeup is, okay? Um, so I already put it on because I let it sit five minutes before I put on my makeup and I use about a dime size. Today, um, I'm probably gonna be outside a little bit, so I actually use, I use double what I normally do. I did it all over and I did some on my neck and my chin. Um, Cause I'm also going to be doing some sculpting underneath. Okay, so I'm only gonna focus on the foundation. The, you're gonna see me do the concealer. Um, Where's my, con oh, the sculpting, okay, and then I have my sculpting brush. Uh, while I'm still waiting for my primer to sit, I'm going to show you my brushes. Um, this is the foundation brush, and this is part of the kudos this month. Um, you can see, see a little hole in the middle, it actually helps you blend. Um, so I'm going to be using that to put on my foundation. This is the sculpting brush, okay, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use that. All right, so I have had that on about five minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and put on my foundation. Don't mind me drinking my coffee. Okay, so this month, remember, the foundation, the brush, um, there's a few other things you can choose from, but these are all part of the monthly kudos, and the monthly kudos is 30% off this month. You get, I'm going to put three dots on, see how it's a dropper? Okay, I don't need a ton. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do four dots right now. Um, so anyway, what was I saying? Okay, so it's part of the kudos this month. You actually get the foundation for $1.00. Um, you can get the brush, you can get, and then you pick a starting product also. Okay, so you see I actually have four dots. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit everywhere. The reason I do that is because, I'm sure you know, but it's because if you just start in one spot, you're going to get all your product in that one spot. Okay. The other thing I've been getting questions about lately is, do you really need a brush? Um, yes, you do really need a brush to put foundation on. Because if you don't, what ends up happening is it completely soaks in to your fingers if you're using your fingers and you don't get the, the good coverage like you do with the brush. Um, okay, so, all right, there's my foundation. I'm sorry, I go really fast and I'm trying to slow down. Um, okay. All right, one thing I have been doing is actually putting my eyeshadow on before my foundation. I didn't do that today because um, I wasn't showing you the eyeshadow. But I have been putting my eyeshadow on before the foundation. And just simply because I get um, eyeshadow all over my face. It's just how I am. Hi, Sable. Yes, I know you're being a complainer. Okay, so now I'm putting on my concealer. And I like to do one shade lighter. Mark, I'm taping, but would you let Sable out for me, please? Um, I like to do one sh shade lighter of the concealer than my foundation because it just blends better. If you do the same color, I find it to be too dark. Okay. Again, I didn't use to use brushes and I'm seeing such an incredibly large difference and really I should be sweeping the same way. Um, one thing I've been noticing when I've been watching some makeup tutorials is people are pulling down. They're pulling, pulling. Do not do that for your skin. It's like one of the biggest things we learned in cosmetology was when we were working with skin was that you do not pull down on your skin. If you pull down, you're going to create wrinkles, you're going to create lines, okay? So it's stressful on your skin. All right, so let me double check my concealer. I need a new makeup mirror because it is actually really hard to see in the, um, just in my camera here on the computer. Okay, so I have my concealer on. All right, so I've now done my foundation, my concealer, okay? And there's my foundation brush. All right, now what I'm going to do next is my sculpting. Okay, 
what just happened? Oh, okay, my screen went blank for a second. All right, this sculpting, I have used um, sculpting for, I don't know, maybe right before my wedding, I think was the first time I tried, tried this sculpting. And I was so shocked. It wasn't unique. It was another product. And it was just so, I liked it, but it was so cakey. It caked on me like you wouldn't believe. So this does not, because Unique's products are awesome. There's just no if, ands, or buts about that. Um, and actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go with a little bit more coverage today. I just decided. Um, my face is, I have rosacea and it's just, I feel like it's really red. So I'm going to do two more dots. Okay. Do a little bit more. Um, and one thing I do sometimes too is I, where I just put my concealer, I like to just do a really, really light, light, um, coverage again with the with the foundation okay perfect I love that now okay so sculpting okay what I was saying was I'd use the sculpting before and I do like it but it's it's nothing like this okay same thing with the sculpting brush this is awesome okay this is going to be your more precise okay you're going to use your I'm going to show you them quickly you have three steps okay and it shows you it's really neat because it comes with the pictures and it shows you exactly where to do them Okay, so where I always start with, okay, I'm going to be using this side, my flat side, okay, where I always start is my right in between, my, basically my chin and my cheekbone, okay? So this is really, really going to have those cheekbones stand out, okay? I have an extremely round face. And I, I don't love the shape of my face, I'm not going to lie. So when I contour, what's awesome about when I contour is that it makes my face look slimmer. It, you can see my, um, my, what was my word? Oh, my cheekbones will stand out now. Um, my face looks slimmer. So that is one of the reasons that I really love to contour. Okay, next, um, I'm going to do my chin, okay? I also have a double chin. I always have, no matter how thin I've been, okay? You want to make sure you blend really well, okay? I do both sides, same side of my contour brush, by the way. I do both sides before I do um, my chin, because I'm going to do right under here also, okay? This is... This contour just, just blends so well. Like I said, I had another one and I liked it and everything, but the problem was is that it didn't blend at all. Like it literally did not blend at all. Um, okay, so it's a nice day today, huh? I'd like to get outside. I can't wait to get outside. Um, okay, so kind of blend a little bit more right there. These brushes are so soft too. They're made with pony hair. Um, no animals are harmed because Unique does not test on animals, but they are made with pony hair. So they're so soft. Okay. All right. So that's number one. I did here. I did here. I'm also going to do my hairline. Okay. Darken that up just a little bit. All right, next. Now, that was neat. It actually shows you all right there. Now I'm going to do my number two, okay? And I'm going to use the other side of my brush now. It's more like a powder brush, okay? Um, I'm going to do the bridge of my nose. And again, you don't have to do everything I'm doing. It's totally up to you. I'm going to do my chin, okay? And then I'm going to do right underneath where I did number one, okay? Right underneath. And I actually haven't even been wearing blush so much lately because I just love the way it contours my chin, so I don't even need blush, okay? Um, I'm going to get right between my eyebrows, okay? And a little, little bit above my eyebrows. This is highlighting just a bit, okay? All right, so that's all I'm going to do for that one. Now the last one is a highlight, okay? I'm going to do the bridge of my nose. Now, if, like, let's say that you aren't a huge fan of your nose you would not want to do the bridge of your nose okay because this is highlighting now this is making these these sections of my face stand out okay gizmo it's so much fun to do videos with the dogs working okay 
that's why I don't always do lives because if I do do lives, gizmo, if I do do lives, that animals are barking and being ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to finish up my makeup and I'm going to do a before and after photo. This is what you saw. Again, let's go over it. The foundation, the concealer. I used my brushes, my foundation and concealer brush, and then I did a sculpting trio. Okay, this month, the kudos, and uh, my goal is to get to 10 kudos, and I'm gonna be giving away some awesome giveaways for people who order the kudos this month at the end of the month, so at the end of May. Okay, foundation, you get that for $1 this month. It's 30% off your whole deal, so you get it for $1. Let's say your color isn't perfect, just in May, Unique sends you another color for free nothing you don't have to return the other color you get to keep two so you basically get two for the price of one okay guys have a great saturday um thanks for joining me um i love doing this i love the makeup i love the positivity that's coming along with it okay um all right have a great saturday guys i'm gonna finish up my makeup and show you the rest when i'm done